Today we'll make a traditional Christmas floral arrangement. Keep watching. I'm going to start off with this one set of flower that I got thrifting. This little cardinal came from Dollar General. These are thrifted. I don't know if that's a pomegranate or what that is, as well as the berries and the little pine picks. These little curly vines came from a larger vine in my yard. Just clipped those off when they were dried. And this box is a stacking Christmas box from Dollar General. This particular print on this box I got two years ago, I believe. And I've got a lot of these boxes. They're really pretty. So if you want to, you can take your lid and put it on the side, or you can put it underneath your arrangement just so that you can utilize it. I'm going to take this foam bo block, which came from the thrift store, and I'm just going to leave it inside of the plastic so it won't make a big mess, and this way I can use it again and again. And I'm going to glue it down. The stem is too long for this short arrangement that I want to make, so I'm just going to take my pliers and cut them down. I'm going to put it in the middle and tilt it slightly to the, the, <laughs> to the side <laughs> because I'm going to be doing something special underneath that flower in a little while. With the three of these pine picks, I am just going to put them around, spaced fairly evenly around the box. To make a triangle shape. These stems on these berries had seen better days, so I'm just going to go around them with a green floral tape. It's a waxed tape. It's not very sticky if you feel it. Uh, if you put a little tension on it, then it becomes adhesive and will stick to itself into the stem. So you just pull slightly as you twist and it will cover up the stem. Also having it this green will kind of camouflage it down in the box with the rest of the greenery. Be sure when you get berries and florals from the thrift store that you give them a little a dusting, a wash up, whatever they might require, just to get them cleaned up. Get the dust off, give them a little bit of their life back. And with these particular berries, they're wired so you can spread them apart and, you know, just make them look a little bit more lively. I'm trying to keep all of my greenery low and tight because I want this to be a short arrangement. I want it to be a small arrangement. When you have a wire that should be a twisted wire and it loses its curl, you can wrap it around a pencil or a marker and you can just fix it back. That was easy enough. And again, the same thing with this one. I'm just going to spread them out a little bit. And if you have any that are broken, like I had on the other pick, if it can be turned to the back, just turn it to the back. If not, you can cut it and probably never even know it's missing. Again, I'm just pulling a little bit as I twist. 
and it's sticking down there with no difficulties. I'm going to trim that one down as well, curve it outward, and then place it across the arrangement from the other one. Don't worry about the foam showing because that's going to be covered in a moment. Now these I don't know if they're if it's called gilded or what but it's got like a gold powdery substance on it and it was coming off all over my hands you'll see in a moment look at my fingers Ew. <laughs> Thankfully, it washes off pretty easily, but you never know when you're thrifting what you're going to come across and how old it is. There's no telling how old these picks were. Some of the little wires were kind of rusty looking, so there's just no telling. But for a traditional piece, I think that the gold just really, really looks good. I needed to save my little curly Q off of that other pick so I went ahead and put it over there in the box top. When you lose your wire pieces it's easy enough to stick another a used floral pick that you've taken the flowers or beads off of or berries off of you can just use that again and just insert it in the original hole in the bottom and it'll be fine. So I'm filling out down and around the edges. Now I'm just going through these pieces of vine that I have to see which ones I want to use. We need a little, a little flyaway or height in this, and I think that these would look really good. You can spray paint them if you want to, but and it might might have been a good idea to maybe spray paint these gold since this is traditional. But I think this this is going to look good. And it's nice to use something out of your own yard or from a hike that you take you can pick them up and use them in your decor. I myself enjoy a rustic decor so you know I like those wood elements anyway. You see they just give it a little extra something there. Gives it some height without any bulkiness. Gives it a bit of whimsy, which is always great for Christmas, I think. Now I'm just taking a pick here to make this have something to stand on, something that we can poke down in there. Because if I was to try to stick the vine down in there itself, for one thing, it would be too short. Secondly, the vine itself is not going to puncture through that plastic and into that foil foam. So I needed to give it something to stand on. So I'm giving it a piece of a floral spray that I had um, used up and I just cut the wires off to for this exact reason. So I could use it for arrangements. And see the green is going to blend in and then it's standing up there nice and nice and happily. I've got some more thrifted, I don't know if this is pine or what, but it looks like it might have came out of a Christmas tree or something. They're thrifted. I've been using them for years. And I'm going to take some Spanish moss that is from my yard, let it dry out in the sun, and then you can use it in your arrangements. And I'm going to tuck that between the box edge and the foam.
You can extend some of that Spanish moss up and onto the foam if you'd like. I wanted to add a little more greenery here, so I'm just taking some of those picks that I had laying there and placing them around in the open spots. Keeping in mind that to the high side of that flower in the back, I'm going to be needing some space to put my little cardinal friend. So I want to leave a, some space on that side while filling out this side. And then you can just take your wire cutters and cut down pieces if they seem too long. They don't fit in there like you like them. It's easy enough. You just cut the wire and they look fine. This one for an example. I'm going to cut that down and add it back in. And it helps me keep that shape, that uh, the shape that I wanted. I'm going to add one more kind of greenery in here, just because I can't, I can't stand not to. I just want to fill it up with all the green goodness. Gonna add bunches of woodland wonder. I'm not sure where I got these particular picks. Probably at the thrift store. I get a lot of my items from there. You just use whatever you have. You make sure that the flower is looking good. Pull all the petals out around the, the greenery. Look around at your arrangement from all sides and tilt it and look around it on the back from the top and see where you're missing things and then just fix those up. So this is a hole that I left intentionally because this is going to be where we put our little bird's nest so our cardinal will have a place to live. I got that cardinal on a clearance sale at Dollar General two years ago when I got the boxes and I, it was 90% off. So I think it was only a dollar to begin with. So yeah, I got three of those. Now I'm just going to fill it out on the inside. I'm going to see how my, burst, my bird is going to sit in there. Then I'm going to take some of that Spanish moss wrap it around my hand a few times into a circle and then there we have our little nest and our cardinal goes right back on the inside how cute is that so this is a traditional arrangement for those of you who aren't particularly into the rustic or the farmhouse style if you're not into neutral theme this is the perfect one for you and i love that it has a little peekaboo surprise on the side. I think that anyone would enjoy having this if it's something that you wanted to make for your, your grandmother, your mother, a sister. I think anyone would like having this in their home for Christmas. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you and hello to all of my new friends. And I will see you again real soon. Bye.